Hello, this is Luke from Cold War Collectors, and uh, I bring you a video today. Uh, this is Webbing Wednesday, so I'm covering the East German webbing. Um, this is uh, late 70s all throughout the 80s. Uh, it varies from the 60s on up, so like I said, this will be uh, late 70s and all of the 80s. Uh, but I will speak a little bit of the differences, but I'm not too familiar on uh, pre-60, mid-60s. Um, because before the nylon, they had leather, and I'm not too. In Blumentarn era, I'm more so Strictarm era, which is 65 and up. Um, but anyways, I'm expecting this video will probably be in two parts. But, let's begin. Um, first of all, these are just uh, something I just got today in the mail, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, cabinet F6 and Cara. Uh, and they're not, uh, they're cigarettes, East German. Uh, and they're not, they're not part of the webbing, but I just wanted to show them real quick. I'm going to do a collection video totally uh, of all my East German gear eventually. Uh, and I have a full impression. But, and then also I got a record, 1983, uh, East German. But, um, now let's begin with the weapon. So first of all, you've got your belt with the insignia. And it's just a standard belt, you know. There's the other end, the clasp. And when you move this side over, it just doesn't on. The adjustment's very simple, you just put it through there. Very simple. Now, right here we have a mag, the mag pouch. Uh, this is for the MPI uh, KM72 and MPI KM, AKM basically, um, but those are the East German designations. Uh, they hold, you notice the pouch is slightly curved, uh, later ones for the 74 are straight and they have a little side pocket, but there's not really much to cover. I'm not going to cover that. Like I said, I'm covering this. Um, they didn't get the 75s, or 74s, the AK-74s, which they called something else as well. They didn't get those until 1975. That's when they first got them, and even then, most guys still had the AKMs up until the end, as far as I'm, uh, aware. Uh, now the magazine pouch holds four magazines, and each magazine holds 30 rounds. So, under 20 rounds. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I've got two Airsoft AK magazines. Oh. Oh, I couldn't find the AK magazines because they were in my Polish mag pouch, but I forgot about that. No, I've got four M16, air, uh, two Airsoft and two Real in there currently because they fill the shape, but obviously AK magazines would be better. Eventually, I'll get the proper uh, type, the proper Real metal ones. I've got all the Real M16 ones. I got an FNFAL magazine and a G3 magazine recently for my West German and British so I need to get the uh, real AK magazines as well. Anyways, over, uh, you got your entrenching tool. Now, on the entrenching tool, a lot of times, and it's just a shovel, a lot of times you'll see them with the strict tarm cover. Those are not correct. Um, uh, well, as far as I'm aware, the ones with gray were for engineers and paratroopers. That's what I've heard, but I don't really know the proper answer. Um, and then the uh, ones with green tabs, uh, UTV, which means it was never issued, it's experimental. Anything with green, East German green tabs, uh, any of the gear that has green tabs, or is like, uh, the green belt, and the, uh, the, it's kind of like, similar to the British pattern, uh, 58, um, it, it's all, it wasn't issued, it was all experimental, so stay away from that. I mean, you know, it's cool to collect, but, uh, if you're doing an accurate impression, stay away from it. Uh, this would be the proper cover for motorized infantry, um, and motorized infantry was the standard infantry in East Germany because the uh, military was fully motorized. Um, but these the covers seem to be more difficult to get. You know the strict arms are more common. I I don't see. I, I actually t it took me a little while to get one of these, but I was able to get one. And uh, let me take the. I'm not going to take the show out because they're they're extremely hard to take out and extremely hard to get back in. Because uh, this covers 100% like it's brand new. It was like unissued. I guess it was such a pain to get back in there to get in there. So. And I haven't taken it out since, so I'm not going to take it out, but it's just your folding shovel. Simple stuff. Um, now, it says made in the GDR. GDR is the East German, German Demo uh, Democratic Republic. Uh, in, in That's in English. In German, it's DDR, 
Deutsch Democratic uh, Republic. Um, uh, but I don't know why it says made in GDR, but I know, but I mean, that means it's East German, but I think export, but I don't know because I've never seen one without that. I'm sure they exist. I'm sure the regular army didn't have them. But the veterans I've asked, I've only asked like one or two, but they said they don't even remember. I mean, you know, why would you pay attention to your shovel that close? I mean, I'm sure, you know, why would you remember that? So I understand. I don't know. And I've talked to a few collectors. I mean, most of the ones I've, I've only ever seen like four in person and they all had that. I've seen plenty on the internet and they've all had that. I don't know. But like I said, I'm sure they had to have existed without that. So if you have any information, feel free to help me out with that. But anyways, uh, either way, it is East German made. Just, you know, it could be export. But either way, it's it's basically the same. Now, this has saws on the side. And I, I don't know exactly, but I've been told that that is a later thing. So I don't know. The shovels uh, is a bit difficult. Uh, there seems to be a lot of information I'm lacking in there. So, But for the most part, this is this will work. Now, over from that canteen, basically everyone's seen these and everyone has these because they're so, so common. Uh, there's no need to really go over it, but I will anyways. Um, you It loops on, but you can also remove it directly. Took it out of the belt, right? You got your little cup with the handles on the back. Let me Let me open this real quick. So you open it, and it's like this. You unbutton that, and then there's just a plastic bottle, right? Very, very standard. Very standard. Nothing, nothing special about that. And then here's the cup. Again, nothing that special about it. It's just, it is what it is. Um, so yeah. Uh, over from that, you have your gas mask bag, and I have all the proper contents, and I will go over that in a moment. So I'm going to take that off for a second just to give some space here. Let me set this down. And like I said, I will go over that in a moment. Okay, then you have your uh, other suspender strap. Uh, you go have one here, one in the middle back. I put it in between the shovel to keep it from sliding. And then I've got one in between the mag pouch. And then here's your bayonet. There's a few models of the bayonet, but I don't have the other models, so I can't help you. But this is the Model 59, how it's got the rubber insulator and the, the uh, knob, right? And then they came out with the next model, which is uh, transitional. Uh, if I remember, which is model 74, 79, 74 or 79, where it's got the, uh, instead of the rubber insulator, it's got like, uh, the, the bake light, but it's black, but it still has the knob. Uh, I can't remember. It's been a while since I've looked them up. And then after that, uh, then you have the 74 style, which is, uh, then they start, uh, they've got the metal tops, but this would be pretty much the most common, even in the eighties, uh, for the AKM, as, as far as I'm aware, um. But these are the most common ones you'll find anyway, so they work. Um, so then that's that. Uh, suspenders are the Y form, but I can't really show you them because I have the chemical suit on. Chemical suits were not standard. I mean, I mean they were standard, but they didn't really care then. Most of the time they left them uh, in the APC, which was the BMP or uh, BTR-70. Uh, BMP-1 or BTR-70 uh, is what they used, I'm pretty sure. Uh, BTR is more so, or BTR is more so in the 80s or BTR is more so in the 70s. Uh, BMP is more so by the 80s. Um, but anyways, when they would carry them, would during either exercises or if there was war. Um, and I'll do a whole video about the chemical suit because I've got the I've got the full chemical suit. I've got the gas mask, the proper gloves. I've got a full set, so I can do a video entirely on that. So I'm not gonna bother opening it because it's uh, uh, because it'll be too hard to show right now because I've got the table cluttered. Um, but it just goes on here and also show you how to attach it because it seems like people have trouble with that Although it's pretty simple um, You just push it through the d-ring and then you take this tab and you Push it in and then that's that and then you put the thing through there the handle now this one's marked MFS which means it is uh, internal uh, It could be uh, police or uh, it's MDI uh, which is ministry dear internal uh, ministry of the Internal, uh, which would be police and other units of that sort. Um, and then uh, a friend of mine has it marked MFS, which is uh, Ministry for Stasi something. It, the Stasi is the uh, shortened version, which, you know, you probably heard of the Stasi. They're kind of like, I mean, best comparison would be to the KGB or CIA, but I mean, that doesn't 
properly explain them because they were their own thing still. Uh, Stasi Ministry, something, I, I don't remember, but, but you know, MFS is basically Stasi. Um, but the MVA Mark 1s are what would be used by the Army.